Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. Crafting materials and crafting equipment, opening a lot of chest boxes, crafting epic equipment and epic materials. In this video, what can you do with your old equipment, old and unused equipment that you probably getting ready to dismantle it? wait a moment and don't rush so much in dismantling it you can still make use of it and the third point is gonna be of the video all the equipment that i have on my commanders maybe i can give you some advice advices some tips and advices some inspiration so you can know what to craft on your commanders now I have to say that this is all materials that are acquired throughout the game. I haven't spent on any bundles. I only bought the bundles at the beginning of when they introduced them into the game for about three or four times. After that, I, I literally stopped. I noticed that it's uh, not worth it. The bundle doesn't actually give you so much equipment unless you keep spending, spending it over and over. So on this opening, I opened 325 treasure of the warrior chest. Now this is about 40, 45 days, so about one and a half month of saving material boxes or equipment or whatever. My plan was to go for a legendary equipment because I have the blueprint. So I have the blueprint for a legendary equipment, but it's actually so costing to craft legendary equipment is literally unreal. So in the end, I made, I crafted an epic equipment. So I'm just gonna forward the video a little bit where I'm actually crafting the epic equipment. And then I'm gonna get back into the game and we'll talk a little bit more. Right. So I actually have a blueprint for the cloud racers as well. Plenty of blueprints for Greaves of, of the Exile and Stuff of the Lost blueprint because we had so many treasure of the warrior chest. Now it literally doesn't matter because uh, everyone is gaining the treasure of the warrior chest in the Sunset Canyon. So either you win or, you're, or lose, you get it. But before, it was a little bit of a trick of how to get treasure of the warrior with every single attack. That's how I managed to save so many of those chests. And now I'm finally crafting or combining the, the materials. And I have to say that I was a little bit disappointed. That's only 21 feathers. There's like 10 pieces of each. Not even 10, 9, 7, 9 of this. So slightly, slightly, I, I have to say that I was disappointed. I was expecting to have a little bit more materials. So I went in to, to forge and I started to look at my <laughs> epic equipment that I actually have blueprints for and I literally didn't have materials for any of them. But I still have a couple of chests which it allows you to pick the resources that you want to craft. And I actually got from those. So you're, you're noticing that I have seven blueprints from Iset Sufferance. Now, this is a high advantage having a lot of blueprints from uh, one type of the equipment. And we're going to see when I start crafting them why I'm saying that. So let me just... Uh, I open. I combine all of them. There you go, I have 40 pieces now. So there you go, we can go ahead and we can finally forge the Iset Sufferings. And what have you noticed? That my dog is making a lot of noise on top, except that. Um, it did not came with the special talent. But I have seven blueprints. So what I have done, I just went and dismantled it. Yes, I dismantled it. I got all my materials back from the Epic. You get all, all your materials back. I crafted, I dismantled again because it failed again. Then I went, I have five pieces. 
so this time it actually went with the special talent 30% cav attack and cav health 4% and 4% so that's really really great <clears throat> now obviously I choose the calves because for that purpose I have crafted so I have four more blueprints and literally for another four more marches because I need one pair of gloves for each march that I have for the first one I got the special talent so WTF to that my Genghis Khan is as dope as it can be all he's missing is now the helmet the epic helmet with another 4% cav attack and he's good to go not sure there is anything else better I can give him in terms of equipment alright so let's go back into the game but there is one more thing in the video the Greaves of the Exile so I have like I said I have plenty of blueprints so this is the advantage of having pl plenty of blueprints I had this uh, piece of equipment crafted for my archers because it grants three archer defense so I went I dismantled it and I forged it again and I was planning to keep forging it again and there you go it went with the special talent so this is one advantage of having a lot of blueprints you just get extra stats there's nothing wrong in it just having extra stats on the equipment all right now let's pause the video over there and let's get back into the game right now as i was mentioning in the forge my plan was to craft this i am noticing sacred grips and this is where you can get them from temple guardians may drop after defeating temple guardians now what temple guardians is referring to it's actually referring to the guardians from the lost temple i'm not sure if ours are still alive or not but those are the ones that actually drop it you guys probably clicked it already on them and you just notice it so whenever you see the lost temple guardians you just click on them and you notice on the right there is a panel and it's actually showing you that there is a chance to get them that's exactly how i got mine and that was my aim that's what i was saving i say for like one and a half month all these materials because i was planning to craft this but when i was looking at the amount of epic materials that i have i was like there's no way i'm gonna have enough on doing this so for that reason i crafted the ice sufferance now i have four more blueprints and all these blueprints i'm not gonna dismantle them because i have five calf marches that's gonna be my next project or all where my equipment is gonna be invested in and my materials as well i'm just gonna get the i uh, i'm just gonna craft this now i'm just gonna show you guys my commander and on top of that i'm gonna show you what you can use your old equipment for so you're noticing if i check john of arc she has the sharp longsword and the coarse breeches they all have gathering speed and when they when you get the special talent it's very very important that you select integration most of the gathering commanders they have integration so that way you benefit from that talent otherwise you will not benefit so if i check this commander this one has leadership so if you want it for guys you need to make sure you select leadership integration 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 so there is at least four gatherers that have integration cleopatra integration there is five gatherers that have integration and which one else this guy also has some of this equipment so all this normal equipment you can make utility from it all you have to do is just place it on these commanders which are your gatherers especially the main ones that you send them on gathering and benefit from it there is no reason to dismantle it because the materials are very very low i'm telling you this gray materials they mean almost nothing rather have the equipment get some gathering speed and benefit from it like that <clears throat> the other one the green equipment i'm 100 sure you still have utility for that 
so no reason to go into that but the gray one use it for gathering now i'm gonna show you guys my commanders as well and i'm gonna show you the equipment that i have on my commander so this is my genghis khan i have done the math and it's full i think it's about 14 percent calf health and about 14 percent attack or defense one of them for attack 9.5 9.5 that's 11 attack and calf health this is 5.5 plus 3 that's 8.5 plus 4 that's uh, 12.5 plus 1.5 that's 14 percent calf health so it was about the calf health so this is how many stats my calves get just from five pieces of equipment that I have on, on Genghis Khan on this march. This is actually really, really great. This is a huge boost on my march. Imagine even if I'm fighting infantry, I still have a lot of stats to pack with all my calves. And in terms of attack, I have this set, the Vanguard set, which is another extra 2%. So I, I did I said like 11. Well, plus two, that's 13% attack as well. Now, Genghis Khan is my highly equipped, and the second one is going to be Minamoto. So, Minamoto doesn't still have the I said Sufferant, but he has Saint's Song. Then, my other commanders that are also primary is Pelagius, which he looks pretty dope as well, and then is Babers. So every blueprint that I'm getting now, and it's extra to all this equipment, I'm just dismantling this one and I'm just crafting it until I'm going to get with the special effect. So I get, can put more stats on my cavalry. My fifth cav march, if it's ever coming to that, is going to be Belisarius. Now Belisarius is still lacking a piece of chest equipment and a pair of gloves for now, but... I'm mostly going with four calf marches and one archer march. So this is my archer march. This is what I have on there. You don't have a pair of gloves. I'm not happy with what the gloves gives. And the helmet, it's not easy to get. This is pretty much how my marches look. And this is pretty much how my commanders look. Now I hope this probably is going to help you. Again, very, very expensive to craft any of this equipment. And if you have a lot of blueprints, like you're noticing Stuff of the Lost, if this is something that you crafted, like Stuff of the Lost, definitely keep using these blueprints, dismantle the old one until you get the special talent. Because like Stuff of the Lost and Grills of the Exile, these pieces of blueprints, you're going to get them, you're going to have tens of them, probably more than you want to think about it. Something hard that it is to get is the Helmet of the Phoenix. You need to kill the other type of Guardians. Some of you probably are doing it regularly and you get a lot. This is ver fairly decent for Archers. And the materials are not crazy. 2% defense or for infantry, 2% health. After I'm finishing with the gloves, my next aim is going to be the Abyssal Visage. Which it might sound crazy. But if I actually get the special talent on this one, I'm going to go with infantry. The reason why is because my Sanso is my main garrison commander. So I can have multiple utilities for this, especially when I'm going to use it for garrison. But mainly it's going to be on Genghis Khan or whichever commander you're rallying with. Because all this equipment that you have, on, on your commanders, this is universal equipment. You don't have any cooldown, you can always swap it around. So if you actually manage to craft a very high piece of equipment and you actually need to rally with someone else that can benefit from that piece of equipment, I'm just gonna pick this one, for example, then you can definitely give it to them. Well, for calves, I actually don't need it because I lose the, the set bonus, but for infantry, if I have to rally and I don't, I don't have any other weapon for infantry, then I can just give it 5% health. Why not? It works. Any other questions that you guys have about crafting or equipment you can definitely drop it in the comment section below. But 
again try to pay attention to all type of events that can actually give you materials they are very very rare and they are very very expensive until next time this is your boy legend ronnie signing off peace out yo and take care